So Nick showed me this build on brick mug from Think Geek, and I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna buy that because it looks pretty cool and I'm kind of a Lego guy. Um, spoiler alert, I don't suggest buying this because it's not a very good mug and it's not a very good building surface, but I did make something pretty cool out of it and we're gonna try to prank Linus and the rest with our awesome mechanized robot mug. So let's see what we have. So over here, you can see, here's the mug uh, part, which I don't have water in right now, but there it is. And I've mechanized it, so you've got tank steering, basically. And then you've also got this kind of robot arm over here. It fills it up with, let's say, ice cubes. And there it goes. And it looks like someone has arrived downstairs. Who is it? <laughs> it's Damn Nick! Me. I already knew about it. Hey Nick, would you like to try out my mechanized robot mug? I'd love to. Because it looks like you're thirsty. I and am thirsty. I think that you would appreciate a drink I, I, out of the robot mug. I dare say that is correct. So yeah. very, very carefully, there we go, here's your glass of water, <laughs> I promise you harm will not come to you when you drink out of it. <laughs> A plus. <laughs> it worked! Oh, I'm so satisfied. I was saying like, what are these gumballs for? <laughs> they're, they're not gumballs, those are actually Lego pieces, uh -oh. but yes. That is what they're for. Uh, Linus, it is a really hot day today. Yes, How yes. would you like to drink out of my awesome super fun robot mug? <laughs> that is not suspicious at all. I promise it will not spray you with water. It won't. I actually don't have those parts. I can't do it. So if you did have those parts, you would spray water out. Absolutely. Me. Right. Okay, well at least I know you're being honest then. <laughs> that was actually the wrong one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. if I put... <laughs> wow. So it uh, launches motivation spheres at me. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty motivated right now. Okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm out of that mode. How long did it take you to build this? Uh, it took a few days. It's pretty cool though. What's the bucket supposed to do? It fills it up with ice. Womp. It actually works really well. What do you think of my uh, motorized robot mug? I think that it's very motorized, and it's definitely a robot mug. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to create the world's most ergonomic mug, oh, yeah. this is probably what I would end up with. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's yes, I will have a, uh, an ice cold glass of I sure wish you'd quit wasting company time. <laughs> Look, look, it's a robot mug! Ooh, How would you mug. like to take a drink of the robot mug? It fills itself up with ice, and it runs around, and it just wants you to drink from it. It's Can it fill itself up with water? It's completely safe. Take a drink, Luke. I, he said it's safe. I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's totally safe. That means I'm gonna die. Very so like this, then? Yeah, you have to drink it like that. Ah. You missed. Failed. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. So what was the intent? The intent was to take another drink, drink, and and take out. Out drink and find out. <laughs> take another drink and find out what I was trying to do. Is it going to hit me with a gumball? Yes. Oh. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a really long drink and not worry about yeah. everything that's happening. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. If there's one thing we've learned today, it's that I'm terrible at pranking people. Alright, so that was vaguely entertaining, um, but I wouldn't call it super fun. And I explained that this is kind of a bad product and I don't suggest buying it. If you must, don't buy grey because it's really boring. The lip is really large and it's awkward to drink out of, especially with these little holes here. Um, and it's also a terrible building surface because it's not actually made by Lego, it's just kind of an off-brand. If you attach something to the front, it comes off really, really easily, as you can see with this. Oh, look at that, it's pathetic. And if you attach something to the back, same four studs, um, it actually sticks really, ow, really well. But um, the only good place to build is on the front, and you know, it just, it just, they don't stick. They just don't stick very well, and it's really sad, and the. And then you might think that these are pinholes, but they're not, because if you try to put a pin in one of them, it just doesn't even work. Um, they're actually anti-studs 
but they're pathetic. Like you can't even build with them. There's nothing, nothing goes on here because they didn't like follow any kind of, like what? The only way to attach something is to do it this way, which is stupid. You guys, you're supposed to do eight millimeters. So then on the bottom, you've got these things that kind of look like Technic pinholes. You can't really get anything to fit in there either unless you go this way. And even then it doesn't really stick very well. Uh, just nothing sticks. That's the problem with this mug. The only way I could get the robot to work is to put a cross brace here because otherwise the whole thing would fall apart. So, so, so don't buy it. But there is a link to the pricing and availability in the description if you insist on doing so. So, like, favorite, subscribe, etc. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? <laughs> Everyone is fired. <laughs>